Hey guys, I'm here today. I just got the first package from the Rusty Rags from the Cruise Epic Contest Extravaganza. Um, first off, I just want to say thank you, Latham from Rusty Rags. I really do appreciate it. I got a few uh, older knives here and some newer ones that I'm going to try cleaning up. I even tried out in this old 1936 bayonet. Alright. I'm going to video after and as well as my ADC knife. And I'm excited to open this so I'm just going to get up here and just uh, crack her open. First off I'd just like to say uh, have a little little smell of vision you know. Turn the volume up you know. Let's say pop and pinky that's like Big D says you know. Gotta have uh, some respect and show charism. Uh, it's a little bit of this Tim Hortons here up in Canada, this uh, Canadian crack as I like to call it. I can't get enough of this stuff, man. Oh, it's delicious. But anyways, we'll get to the video. Let's get to unboxing this. Slice open with my buck. Alright. I got slice. I feel like there's something else in there. But there we go. Alright, sorry for it's being close. Oh, I got a little suave here for cleaning. Oh, it's got some of that uh, sheep sheep fur, I guess, right? For cleaning. Nice, very nice. Was not expecting that at all. So, check the package here. Oh, nothing else. Exciting though. Got the Rusty Rags Ultimate. Knife care kit. Alright, let's check this out. Oh, I think there's even a sticker here. Oh, there is too. Cool. Cool, man, thanks. This is awesome. I know what this is going on right away, my knife box, man. So, put that over there. A little rusty rags card. And by the way, I have a few friends who are uh, showing them your page there and they're interested in uh, a few of your products, so uh, I'll shoot them your. Uh, your info here to get a hold on your website there and uh, hopefully you can get some more Canadian sales there, eh Latham? So try to spread the word, you know? Alright, let's open this bad boy up. This is my unboxing video. So first, like, I haven't really done any real unboxing videos before. So I got the flannel cloth and gloves and instructions in here. I guess gloves are optional. Because uh, his product is food grade, which is pretty cool. A lot nicer than having something that's not food grade. Let's we'll see the instructions here. I got. It. I don't know if you guys can see that there. I'll just put it up a little closer here. Alright, put that over here. Oh! More stuff. Oh, a little extra thing of oil. Nice. Silicone oil. Knife cleaning rust protection for use on outdoors and all knives. Nice. It's nice to have more so I can replenish this cloth. As you can see, it's already kind of tacky. It's been penetrated already with the fluid and this uh, sheepskin uh, cloth. Pretty sick. Pull it out here. Just take a little look at it. Sorry, it's off camera. I'm trying to lean over the table here. It has no real smell to it, but here, let's give it a try. Alright. Try it on this uh, Bear Grylls Ultimate Knife by Gerber, the Gerber Knife. Clean that up a little bit. Oh boy, nice shine to it, man. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's got a great shine. I only rubbed it on two or three times there. Alright, let's see this side here. Get this kind of little demo here, you know? Ooh -wee. Look at it glisten. 
There's a lot of fluid in here. Nice. That's one. As you can see, there, I gotta, I guess, use the flannel cloth to wipe off any excess. I'll do that after. But as you can see, look at that reflective, man. Jeez, it's a hell of a shine. All right, let's use my EDC, my Buck Nobleman. This thing gets a beat, man. I use this thing every single day, so primarily I'll be using this kit here to keep this thing nice and clean because it's always good to take care of your tools, you know? So they last. I usually oil all my other tools. I do the outdoors work as well. I usually just use uh, like a motor oil on my shovels and stuff uh, through the winter just to keep them from rusting. I just wipe them down before I put them away. But uh, I haven't had anything food grade quality knife clean kit before, so it's nice. I'll wipe down this blade nice. Sorry, it's getting off camera here because I'm talking. I'm not paying attention to what I'm shooting. So, all right. Put that down. I'm guessing you can use this for uh, getting inside the nooks and cranny here. All the stuff on the inside, which I'll probably do later. I'll pull out this cloth here. Oh, looks like there's more than one here. Oh, no, it's just one one big one. Nice. I wasn't expecting something this big. This is really nice, guy. Okay? Really nice, Latham. Thank you very much. Really do appreciate it. Wipe off that excess there. As you can see, it's like, the blade itself has little scratches on it from before, but that is like a mirror, man. Absolute mirror. Like, look at that. God damn. It's shiny. Alright, get the excess cleaned off here. Wow. That's nice, man. Awesome finish. Awesome finish. You guys can see that nice glare coming off of it. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Sweet, man. Let's give this old one here. This is an old knife I picked up actually at a garage sale years ago. I thought it was a cool looking knife. Just got a bone handle. It's, uh, I guess it was made in Japan. It's got a little Japan thing there. But I'm guessing whoever owned it kind of customized it, put a different brass hilt on it, maybe a aluminum butt cap on it. But it is full tang. goes all the way down. So I thought it was kind of a nice knife. So I picked it up, cleaned it up a bit. Got some of the patina off of it and just shined it up a bit, but let's see how this shines up even more. Sorry, I keep moving it off camera. This apparatus I got this thing hanging from. Still haven't quite worked out the kinks yet. So Let's see this. Wow. Wow, it just brings whatever the shine that like the polish I put on it for it just brings that polish out like tenfold, man. And it's still got the patina marks in it, but like that thing is shiny. I'm just gonna keep it from patining or rusting anymore for a while. Nice man. Thank you very much. I really appreciate this. It's great. Great, great, great prize to win, man. Very useful. I got many more uh, things I'm going to be using using it for. So, anyone else watching, um, I just want to uh, show my support for Latham and Rusty Rags, his channel there, and his small business. So, you guys got any uh, knives that need good cleaning, uh, get out there and uh, give them a try. Uh, brings a great shine back to your blade and also protects it. And you can also... Uh, cut up fruit or whatever you know your lunch or apple cut it up and you don't have to worry about the oil hurting you because it's food grade so which is a, a big plus because I use this thing to cut open my orange every day so slice her open you know every single day so it's awesome man thanks a lot and uh, hope you have a great day and uh, health and happiness guys health and happiness so big old smell of vision right back at you Right up here from Canada. Alright? Have a good one, guys. Alright, bye.